Hey guys, and welcome to my guide to Hunt Showdown's game mode, Soul Survivor. Now, a few people in my chat on Twitch have actually asked me if I could do a guide on this game mode. And it took a while, but we're finally getting round to it. Now, I really do hope this helps some of you guys out, but I feel that this is the best way to maybe actually win in a game mode of Soul Survivor. And I really do hope it helps you guys out too. So first of all, we're going to be looking around on our left and right, depending on what map we spawn in and whereabouts we spawn. Just looking around to see if there is any players with us killing any AI that might be getting in our way. So using our ears here, we can hear someone running up here on our right hand side. We're going to have a quick peek over this ball here. Luckily, we managed to get the headshot off on that dude. So that was uh, that was pretty nice. Okay, so first rift here already taken. Having a quick look around, quickly grabbing anything, weapons and stuff that might be uh, on the way to the next rift. We're not really going out of our way to pick up any consumables or weapons, etc. yet. We're just going to focus on getting to the next rift as quickly as possible. Because the faster we can get these rifts, the faster we can get the wellspring, and then we can start looking and looting for any other gear. So I'm not going to be talking too much. I'm going to let the gameplay do a lot of the work right now. But as we come up, I'll let you guys know what we're doing. So we're going to the second rift here now over at four. And then we're going to quickly uh, grab that and have a quick look around to see if there is any weapons close by where that rift is. Just going to have a little look around just to make sure there is no players pushing up with us as well from other compounds. We'll just grab some loot, some ammo, as it was there in our path. Again, not going out of our way too much. Okay, that's the second rift got. We're going to quickly just have a look there. Is there any weapons we want to pick up? Decided to keep the Bornheim match over the uh, Martini. So again, personal choice, of course. So if there is a better weapon, you can quickly take that. Okay, now heading towards more battery to get the third rift. Again, just keeping an eye out, having a look around to our left and right, keeping our ears peeled just in case there is some people running up. We don't want to get caught out. Okay, so as we approach more battery, we're just going to quickly have a look around. Check quickly, check where the, uh, the next rift is, which is up a ladder. Now, just be careful. There could be people camping around here. Obviously, if the clues growl or glow red, it means that there is players pretty close. So just be careful. That if there is anyone around, the clue will be, uh, or the rifts, sorry, will be glowing red and making a very uh, aggressive noise. So as we take the third rift, we're now quickly going to be focusing on getting to that fourth one and getting the wellspring. So again, you can check your map by pushing tab on the keyboard, which will show you your map. And it will show you the, the closest uh, place to get your next rift. So you want to go to the ones which are fairly quick to get to. Now, for anyone who's played quick play before, even though you are running to get the rifts fairly quickly, sometimes people do get lucky and they do get two rifts in the same compound. So there is something to consider, even though this is uh, the easiest way some people can beat you to get in the, uh, the wellspring. But I feel like this is the best way um, to get the wellspring. Once you obviously have the wellspring, you then need to hold on to it. But to get the wellspring, I feel like this is the easiest way 
But once we get there, we can obviously set up and have a look around for some better weapons and consumables that will uh, help us defend our compound, etc. Okay, so coming up on that fourth rift right now. About to take the wellspring. We're hoping that no one's going to quickly grab it. There's been so many times where I've gone to grab that last rift and then someone else has just got it like two seconds before. So let's quickly grab it. Oh, we see a drill in there on our left. We'll definitely take that, I think. Okay, as you can see, the wellspring is activated. We now need to stay alive. So now that we have the wellspring, we can look around in the compound to see if there's any uh, weapons or consumables and stuff which is going to help us. So we managed just to pick up the drilling, having a little look around, seeing if there's any better weapons, any heals, etc. No idea why I took the decoys there, but I feel like it was just a, a case of hoarding something. Just to fill up a space since we didn't really loot a lot although it's not a bad thing to loot um decoys because they can throw people off i'm just not really a big pa uh, big fan personally okay so we just got some traps here now we looked around for traps we can trap this compound up and we can just sit inside now that we have a drilling with uh, shotgun ammo and of course long range ammo Actually, I'm not too sure if this is a uh, medium ammo or long range. I don't really play the drill in that often. I do apologize if I got that wrong. Okay, so we're just going to get some more traps. Just have a quick look around, listen, because there might be someone sneaking in. Yeah, I've not really played too much of the, uh, the drill in so far. Not since the latest update, anyway. Okay, so there we go. Second trap down. I believe there is one more trap in the box. So we're going to quickly grab that one now as well. The more traps we have here, the easier it's going to be for us to defend this compound. Again, sometimes there could be a lot of PvP. Sometimes you might not get a lot, but it's always safe to uh, lock your compound down with traps if there is any around. It's just going to make it a lot easier for you to defend. Again, you don't have to stay in the compound if you don't want to, but it's just a safe spot if you've got a lot of people pushing in. I, however, do like to get on top of the, uh, the roof and stuff and just try and pick people off. I do love a bit of PvP, but if you obviously want to, you know, a more high success rate of winning, you can just sit there and let people try and push you. It's a lot easier, especially if you've got a shotgun inside. A lot of people do tend to use a shotgun in Soul Survivor mode just because it is a lot easier um, to defend a compound with a shotgun. As you can see here now, I'm going to be getting onto the uh, onto the roof just to see if I can see anyone. We'll quickly uh, pop this regen shot here right now. Have a quick look around. There was shots over towards um, Golda. Golden. Sorry, Golda. Golden. So just having a little scout about, seeing if we can see anyone. Again, every time you get a uh, you get a rift, you do get a random trait, which is again also a good reason why you should push the rifts as fast as you possibly can. Get as many traits onto your hunter. Okay, so no, not a lot going on right now, but you can never tell if there's people crouch walking or anything like that. So, again, always have your ears open. It's very important. Ears and eyes. I'm just looking around.
Okay, so yep, there was a lot of PvP earlier on in the game mode. So it seems like there's probably not too many players left right now. But again, sometimes you can get lucky with not a lot of PvP. Sometimes, you, like I say, you might get a lot, but it all depends. It is very random. But it just goes to show that if you push all four rifts quickly as possible, you can get the wellspring. After that, everything else is pretty much down to you and just killing your opponents that push. I mean, you don't really need to even stay in this compound. If you do feel like you don't really want any of the weapons that you've seen around, you can, again, push to other compounds and see if there's any loot there that you, you know, you want to escape with. Um, again, that is a big, um, a big risk because there could be people pushing to that compound, so you might cross paths. You do have to be cautious of that. Okay, so now that we do ha actually have a guy here trying to push us, this may be the last guy of the game. So, just missed a couple of shots there on him. Uh, now that we kind of lost sight of where he's gone, we're just going to go back inside and make it easy. So, he needs to push us now. We're not going to make it an easy win for him. So we're just going to wait inside and wait for him to push us now. We got all the traps there. So if he pushes, hopefully we can take advantage of that. Okay, we can hear him up the top here. Now crouch walking. Remember, your ears are always important in Hunt. And there you go. Very easy kill right there. So, again, as you can see, depending on how you want to play, you can go up on the roof and take a risk, or you can just sit inside and wait for people to push you. It's as easy as that. Okay, so it looks like we've probably uh, got one or two more people in the map, but they're probably around somewhere, maybe looting. They could be new. Uh, but I actually did win this round. As you can see, we've only got 26 seconds left on the clock. Um, I did win this round. It was very easy. There wasn't a lot of PvP, again, depending on the PvP. Sometimes you can win, sometimes you can lose. Uh, but the, su the success rate to winning, I feel, is a lot higher to do it this way by just rushing the rifts and then looting once you've got the wellspring. Um, so I do really hope that this guide does help some of you guys out. And yeah, please let me know if it does. And if you do feel like this video has helped you and does explain everything, then please feel free to leave a like and a comment in the section below. And please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But until then, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you on Twitch.